This is the Compound Restaurant game. This game goes along with Lesson 13 in your Friendly Chemistry course. In this lesson, you will have introduced your students to the formation of compounds made from cations and anions. This game gives your students many opportunities to practice forming compounds and then writing those compound formulas for you. Let's look at what it takes to play the compound restaurant game. First off, you'll need to divide your students into at least two teams. Each team consists of a restaurant. So you can allow your students to choose a name for their restaurant, like Betty's Cafe or, or Joe's Diner. Like you did with the teamwork game, the teams are oriented in this position. You'll need to at least have three tables or three rows of desks for them to play at. So we've got uh, a team member here, second, a third, and then you'll need a fourth team member that serves as the waiter or waitress that moves back and forth between tables. And then again we've got another team over here. If you have more than eight players, you can position multiple players at each station in order to get the tasks done more efficiently. You'll station yourself up at the front and you can stand here or you can have a desk or table as well. Equipment you'll need for the game includes some sort of non-breakable tray, plate, or platter that the students can use to pass forward uh, as they prepare their food for you at the restaurant. One other item that you'll need is a set of ion flashcards found in your manipulative booklet for each team. So each team needs their own set of ion flashcards. So you'll need to make sure you have those prepared ahead of time for them. One for each team. Another team, another thing that each uh, team will need to do once you provide those ion flashcards to them is lay them out on the table. The ion flashcards become the raw ingredients that your students will use as they prepare the dish for you, which is a chemical compound in the restaurant for you. So, what they'll want to do first is to lay out on their table, beside the uh, plate, are all the ion flashcards. And it's a good idea for them to put them into two separate piles to begin with. They'll have the cation pile and an anion pile. And then if they could sort them according to size. Now recall that the size of the card, the size of the card reflects the charge on that ion. So we have cards that are three times size, which are the plus and minus threes, and then we have the uh, the double-sized cards, which are the uh, plus or minus two cards, and then we had the single, which are the plus and minus ones, and then we have a few of those that are the plus and uh, are the minus fours. We don't have any plus fours. The minus fours, uh, which are the cards that are the tall ones that are quad size or four times the size. So what they'll want to do first is lay out their cards or their ingredients so they can find them quickly. So that's the job of these uh, students at this table is to once you place your order which is basically calling out the name of a, a chemical compound their job will be to find all the cards that could potentially be used to prepare that food dish and they'll place them in the plate or the uh, platter, whatever you've provided for them here. What they do next is they pass that to the next table forward. Now these are the chefs in the game. These two players here are the chefs and what they do is they discard any cards that are unnecessary to uh, in order to prepare a correct chemical compound for you. Let's look at an example. Let's suppose you ordered up an order of sodium chloride. An order of sodium chloride. So these students back here initially will find all the sodium cation cards and all the chloride anion cards and they'll pile them into the platter. They'll pass that forward to the chefs. The chefs then knowing that it's sodium chloride, sodium has a plus one charge, chloride has a minus one charge, they'll know that it just takes one of each of those to create the uh, stable compound. So they'll discard 
they'll discard the extra sodium and chloride cards that they don't need. They should just have one of each card in the platter there uh, to present uh, to the cashier which is at the next table up. So they'll hand the plate then to the waiter or the waitress. The waiter or waitress then is going to transport the platter here to the cashier. It's the job of the cashier to write up the check for you. Now the check consists of the correctly written chemical compound. So they'll have a, a piece of pencil, a piece of paper and a pencil and they will write down that chemical compound for you which includes all uh, symbols and correct charges. They'll lay that on the platter and then it's the job of the waiter or the waitress to present that finished completed dish to you for your review. Now we all know that the best restaurant has a combination of good food and great service so the team or the restaurant which is capable of getting you your food the fastest with the best quality meaning that they've correctly prepared that chemical compound for you they've written it down exactly right they've got the correct number of cards uh, number of cations and anions on the platter will win the round so they will be rewarded two points for the round any other restaurant that's capable of providing you uh, your food but maybe not quite as quickly is uh, can earn one point for the round now if your food arrives and you see it's incorrectly prepared you send it back just like in the teamwork game if you see that the check was written wrong you send it back to the cashier if the food wasn't prepared correctly you send it back to the chef if you find that there's extra uh, extra cards you send it back to the chef now if you find a wrong card uh, on your plate then you send it clear back here to the food preparers and and make sure that they have not included uh, an incorrect an incorrect cation or anion card on their uh, on the tray there so this is a game that gets really crazy really fast uh, the students have a great time playing it if you uh, uh, initially you will just use the monoatomic ion cards the monoatomic ones and then later uh, in lesson uh, 14 15 you'll be introducing the polyatomic ions then you can play this game again using the full sets of your ion cards both monoatomics and polyatomics which uh, makes for a really crazy challenging time for your students so this is the restaurant uh, compound restaurant game enjoy your time with your students